Australia's Bondi Beach has been shut down temporarily. Officials were forced to close the beach after thousands of people flocked there in recent days, defying social distancing orders. Lifeguards will now conduct regular head counts and they will shut down other beaches if too many people gather in one location. Australia recently imposed stricter socializing rules as part of its COVID-19 response. The country has more than 1,000 confirmed cases of the virus. Seven people have died. Sirens blared across Jordan's capital today, marking the start of the country's nationwide curfew. Jordan is limiting the movement of its 10 million citizens indefinitely to combat the spread of COVID-19. Anyone caught violating the curfew can be jailed for up to a year. So far, nearly 400 people have been arrested. Jordan has 85 confirmed cases of the virus. Iran's president held a cabinet meeting today to discuss additional measures to fight the spread of the new coronavirus. All attendees, except for President Hassan Rouhani, wore face masks. Iranians have been encouraged to stay home for the next two weeks and only leave if it is absolutely necessary. More than 20,000 people have tested positive for COVID-19 in that country. More than 1,500 people have died. The epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic is still in Europe. Italy is the hardest hit country in the world. 793 people died there in the past day alone. That pushes the death toll in Italy past 4,800. Spain now appears to be on a similar trajectory. And there are fears France, Germany and the United Kingdom may not be far behind. Redmond Shannon reports. Italy's armed forces are having to work harder every day, transporting bodies out of the worst affected regions as the rate of death continues to increase. The mayor of one city says the true numbers are even higher, with many untested people dying at home. The lockdowns are now even stricter with bans on exercise outside. People are only allowed out for emergencies or to get food. In Spain, the crisis is just a few days behind Italy. This conference centre is being set up to treat the rapidly rising number of cases. You're only allowed to leave your house if you're going to go get uh, food or to the pharmacy, that kind of like, necessary supplies. Albertan Zach Gerling is in Prague and fears he'll be stuck if his flight home gets cancelled. It's like 20,000 check crown fine for not having a mask on, so... It's pretty intense. That's a thousand dollars. In neighboring Slovakia, this is how the new government was sworn into office Saturday. In France, the lockdown is not as stringent as Italy, but much of Paris is effectively closed for business. The country's health minister issued an open invitation for citizens to play their part by donating stored face masks to health workers. Germany, too, is preparing for the worst. And central London is almost empty of tourists. But many Londoners are still going about their business as normal, despite the new measures in effect. British bars may be closed, but it is far from a full lockdown here. But looking at what's happened in the rest of Europe, the UK could be headed that way, too. With a strategy U-turn from the British government this week, the messaging on social distancing is not hitting home with everyone. The long-term or indeed short-term consequences of that may soon become apparent. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London. We know you have lots of questions about this virus. Our Jeff Semple will continue to consult with experts and try to answer them. Email your questions at globalnews.ca. And on our website, you'll find a special page dedicated entirely to the new coronavirus. That's at globalnews.ca slash coronavirus.